Welcome back 26 Acres Outdoors and you guys have been Some of you have been teasing me about my blind. Well, guess what? We're finally at step three a year later So what we did do I will show you I did take some pictures. We didn't have cameras set up There was a lot going on, um, but I'll go over it now with you What we did I changed out all my supports um, to, I have to cut a couple up top, but some of them are cut so we crisscrossed them and then we put a 2x4 block in the middle to keep them, you know, so they're tight. And I needed 16 foot ones for those. And I got 12 foot ones around the bottom. Then we put our 3 quarter inch press treated plywood for our base and our floor. And then the walls I had built last year, which are nice to get out of my shop. We took them and stood them up and got them up there. So now i got to put some rafters and some sheathing. And some siding and some roofing then we cherry out the inside but I'll take you up there and show you how it is gonna be awesome it's gonna be nice and warm and uh, and we'll show you how it looks over this food plot once this thing pops but I'll take you up there Another thing I did want to add when I had dropped this thing in originally last year I did not I should have taken the machine and made a nice level base to sit it on maybe brought some crushed stone or something and like I said it may sound like overkill but this thing's 12 feet high it's not eight foot like a eh, big deal put some rocks but we kind of dug down put some granite blocks under each of the foot and uh, leveled it before we put our walls up Point, I will have a staircase but for the moment or for this year we're going to use the ladder so up we go there will be a door here of some sorts and locked from many mischievous kids that want to get in but as we come up oh this is great super sturdy you know this is awesome so we're gonna have one little window here we can look out and shoot that edge we obviously have our gigantic window here, which overlooks the entire food plot. Um, and then we got a little side one here. I am just going to trim these couple branches because they do like to come out of those woods and make a crisscross over here. So, this is it. So far, there's enough room for two, be able to put two shooting, shooting um, seats. I'm going to have uh, some little additions in here, but it should be nice. It'll stay warm, dry, it's raining, and totally out of sight. Step three is done. I know, finally. And I will admit this. If I could have got regular blinds delivered, I would have. But nobody they wouldn't deliver. I wanted the um, redneck blinds, and they wouldn't deliver to Connecticut. Because this thing has cost me a fortune. I have two more to build. But I am going to build those a way lot cheaper. Not building them like a house, 16 foot on center and all this other stuff. Got way over budget on this. Like, way over budget. Could have bought two redneck blinds for what this thing's going to cost. But we know who to thank for that. Another important thing I don't think anybody talks about when they put up an elevated blind. Mine's tucked back in the bushes. My food plot's there. That's where we're hunting. Where the deer come out of the woods, come to either cross the food plot, fight in the rut whatever they're doing a big thing that we talks about is you know well we're gonna have brush here this will grow up and they won't really see us crawling up but if I want to get in this thing I don't want to have to walk out in front where I'm hunting so what I did was I cut a path through the woods here so we got entrance from the back and I will get some I can get wood chips for free I know a buddy that uh, cuts trees so I'll just come in and bed, uh, put a path of wood chips. So it'll be a nice quiet walk-in. And we can come, should be able to come in pretty much undetected unless we're jumping one in the woods and then we go back up to the shop and there's our food plot. So that's my plan. And I accidentally, cutting stuff down, I just let this one dangle because Kind of like a mock vine scrape, but a completely natural one. 
I don't see any action down on the bottom here of anything moving anything. But if I do, I'll definitely set the camera up. Anywho, so we're on step three. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Catch you next time.